In this video, we're going to have a look at creating some brick window sills or band courses around the building. So I'm going to flip around to this side of the building. On the architecture tab, wall, wall sweep. Click that and we can, as you move the cursor around, you'll see it locks onto the wall. And we can just drop it there and then press escape. Press it twice and get out of the command completely. And we'll see we have this large block along here. I'm going to click on that now and then look at the elevation that looks at it and move it around to line it up. So I want it tucked under that window. So I'll just zoom in a bit to make sure it's done easily. There we go. Just move it up. Now, I also don't want it as a full band across the building. So I'm going to use the blue dots either end to line up with the sides of the window. And that will mean it will just be under the window itself. OK, now at the moment, as we saw, it was a big gray block. So I'm just going to click the edit type. Now duplicate it, call it whatever you want to call it. I've already called mine soldier band. OK, so we got the profile. Brick soldier course. The material. And pick, you could pick the brick soldier course in red or the buff one that's there at the moment. We'll just leave those as they are. So click that and then say OK. Now we can see it sort of dropped itself down by here. Let's look at that in 3D. So we can see it's by there. So we want to move it up, but also notice it's not quite graphically looking that great with the soldier course there. Um, so we're going to adjust that as well. But let's go to the elevation. And first of all, we'll just put it, tuck it up under the window. Move. There we go. All right. We could check the actual size of this. And it is 225 or thereabouts. OK. And I want it to look like it does in this sketch here where you've just got one brick. I don't want it to have a visual sort of line coming across like it's a joint in the brickwork. So let's highlight it, go back to the edit type and go back to the material. Now we've got these on the appearance tab, these two images here, the masonry and the relief pattern. So we need both of those to be edited. So we'll click on it and we'll see its existing height is 1187.65. Now, if you count the bricks, OK, you can see that these dimension lines are between about six bricks. So I'm going to go for 1350. And do that, and then say done. And then do the same on the relief pattern. That's important because that creates the shadowing and gives it the sort of depth visually. OK, and then all right, now let's OK that. And then we'll look at it in 3D. And now we can see it's just got full brick lengths, which looks much nicer. So like I said before, if we wanted to do a band course, say across the tops now, we'll just do another one. Wall, sweep, drop one in. There it is. OK, we can now click on that and we'll change it to the one that we've already created. Soldier band. Click OK. Uh, not so good by there. OK, let's move that. Go back to our north elevation. Zoom in a bit just to make sure it goes exactly where you want it. There we go. So now you have one across the full width of that elevation, like so. And you can see it returning around the side by there as well. Now, with these ones, you could create new ones, or we could just copy them. 
click copy there's another one and then we'll stick another one over here nope didn't like me doing that one we'll just escape out of that second and we'll try that again from here copy from this window edge to this window edge there we go that's better all right then and there you go look at it in 3d we have a full band across there and we have some soldier courses for the sills by there as well